In this video, we're going to look at how we can take the solutions to a quadratic and use those to find the quadratic that generated them. In this case, we're going to have irrational solutions, such as in this first example, the square root of 3 and negative square root of 3. And with irrational solutions, we can't use the factoring in reverse method, but we can use completing the square in reverse. Solutions, if they're irrational, will always come in pairs with one positive and one negative. So we can write that as a one shorthand solution of x equals plus or minus the square root of 3. And the nice part about having plus or minus the square root of 3 is we can get rid of a square root by squaring both sides. What's interesting about that is if we square a positive number, the answer will be positive. If we square a negative number, a negative times a negative is a positive number. This means the plus or minus almost goes away when we square, and we end up with x squared equals... And when we square a square root, we're just left with 3. And only positive, because square takes care of both of those. We like our quadratic to equal 0, so we subtract 3 to get our final equation, x squared minus 3 equals 0 is the equation that would give us the solutions square root of 3 and negative square root of 3. We found that equation by writing the shorthand with the plus or minus, and then squaring both sides to get rid of the radical and the plus or minus. Using the same idea, we can make the problem a little more involved. Let's say the solutions are 2 minus square root of 5 and 2 plus square root of 5. You notice we've got the minus and plus here in the middle. So we can write that as x equals 2, whoops, x equals 2 plus or minus 5 square root of 2. This time, the square root is not alone, but as we found out with solving equations, we can isolate that square root term by first subtracting the 2 from both sides giving us x minus 2 equals plus or minus 5 square root of 2. Now that the term with the plus or minus is alone, now we can get rid of it by squaring both sides. On the left side, recall when we're squaring a binomial, we are not allowed to just distribute the square through. That doesn't work. Instead, we have to square the first term to give us x squared, and then we have the product, negative 2x twice, negative 2x and negative 2x is negative 4x, and finally square the last term, negative 2 squared is positive 4. We have to do all the pieces because of the subtraction in the middle. We can't just square the parts. However, on the right side, there's multiplication in the middle, so we can square the parts. We square 5 to get 25 times... We square the square root, because square and square root are inverses, we're just left with the inside number of 2. So we can multiply that out to get x squared minus 4x plus 4 is equal to... 25 times 2 is 50. And again, we like the equation to equal 0, so we will subtract 50 from both sides, giving us our final quadratic, x squared minus 4x minus 46 equals 0. This is the equation that has solutions 2 minus 5 root 2 and 2 plus 5 root 2. We found that equation by making x equal to the shorthand 2 plus or minus 5 root 2, Get the plus or minus alone by subtracting 2 from both sides. And then we square both sides, which gets rid of the radical and gets rid of the plus or minus. Making the equation equal 0 to give us our final solution.